a match made in heaven, Stardew Valley, and Factorio. One game is all about living with the land and bonding with the community, while the other is all about exploiting the local resources and population for your own advancement. What happens when we take my items and upgrades from Stardew and shuffle them with my research tree in Factorio? The possibilities are endless. I may fish up a science pack which allows me to research my greenhouse to grow a grape to unlock my atomic rocket. As an added twist, I will be playing both games at the same time, so I'll have to manage my time carefully to make sure I don't miss any appointments in Stardew while also keeping an eye on my Factorio base for those nasty biters. And if I die in one game, I die in all three. Three games? That's right, the creator of the Stardew randomizer suggested I try out DLC quest as well. Without further ado, let's grab our starting items and take a step outside. Ooh, we are in a very bad starting position. Our house is all the way at the sewers. At least we could spring onions right away. Almost everything you can think of is randomized, so reaching foraging level 1 did not gain me a foraging level. It served as a check for a random item, this one being a factorial research for advanced electronics. I have no idea if that's useful right now, but it did give us a free sample of yummy red wafers. I hiked through Cindersap Forest and found my way to my farm and wanted to head inside for a nice nap, but instead was greeted by a hipster Indiana Jones. I continued checking where all the entrances led to and was even able to enter Mario's door thanks to it being winter. I hadn't found anything too exciting yet except going through George's house to find the spa entrance leading to my high school boys locker room. I ventured through the smelly wastes and ended up outside the adventurers guild. I guess Marlin was unhappy with my smell as I was now locked outside and could only enter the mines to find Joja. Literally stuck now, my only option was to traverse the multiverse and enter my factorio world. Factorio is all about collecting resources to turn into refined resources to craft an assortment of juices to unlock machines that allow you to craft better components to turn into better juice to eventually research a rocket and launch that into space to win. Oh yeah, and for starter, the goal is community center. No way I'm going for perfection in this mad, mad world. My first goal in Factorio is to gather the four basic resources of iron, copper, coal, and stone. I can use the stone to craft furnaces and insert iron and copper along with coal to smelt iron and copper plates. Eventually I'll get to automating everything, but I was happy with my little temporary setup, so I decided to check back into Stardew. I found myself back at home due to passing out, which is actually a good thing since I was previously stuck. I headed back to town to check entrances, but realized it was too late for most places to be open. I did discover Mayor Lewis hiding a secret volcano inside his manor, but besides that was locked outside of other places. I couldn't even return home due to not having a rusty key, but luckily there is a handy command to force myself to pass out. I will lose money, but it's the only way home. On day 3, a rainy winter day, I headed to the beach and began to wait for Willie's shop to open up. I decided rather than waiting around in Stardew, I could kill time in Factorio and actually accomplish something. I placed down my first boiler, which can intake water and coal to produce steam. The boiler can be connected to a steam engine to begin producing electricity. I wanted to start research, so while my lab crafted, I went back into Stardew. I entered Willy's to find the witch's hut which led to the Skull Cavern. I wanted to enter, but was missing a key component. I went back to Factorio to begin researching my first technology. All I had to do was simply place down a lab connected to my power network which right now consisted of a single steam engine. I had crafted some red science packs by hand which I could now put inside my lab to begin researching assembling machines. These are super important since they can automatically craft items for me. I headed back to Stardew to continue checking entrances. When I started streaming Stardew, what was difficult was looking back between chat and the game. Now I have to focus on two games and YouTube chat and Twitch chat, so this is the ultimate um, sidetracking. This, no, this can't be. In my Map Shuffle series, Clint's was vanilla. This is the most insane thing. Clint's is vanilla again. Clint's is Clint's. Clint's is Clint's? Clint just doesn't want to play the randomizer. He just wants to stay to himself, stay vanilla. Clint didn't have anything important, so I headed up to the Joja Mart and found the carpenter's shop. Robin was offering a mine elevator, hearts with Leia, a pickaxe upgrade, the island resort, a movement speed bonus, and a fishing level. Much better options than Clint, but of course I couldn't afford anything right now. I went back to Factorio and found myself with a free sample of assembling machines, which I will eventually use to start automating science pack crafting. Normally, red packs require a copper plate and gear wheel. However, the science pack recipes are randomized and mine requires a coal, stone, and copper cable. 
I am mining both coal and stone, and copper cables are made from copper plate, so I can craft a bunch of science by hand for now. I found a research called Movement Pack for DLC Quest, which sounds important, although I've never played DLC Quest before, so I had no idea what to expect. As you can see right now, everything has stopped moving. I'm pressing my A key. I can't move to the left. I can't jump. The only thing I can do is move to the right here. I think we're now stuck in this game, because we can't jump over that ledge right there, and we can't move back to the left. But anyway, these are our checks. It seems like we have to use those coins to buy checks so far. My sneaking suspicion was the movement pack researching in Factoria would let me move and jump in DLC quests. I started my goal of automating reds, which began with connecting electricity to my mining outposts. They aren't nicely lined up, but it is what it is. My electric miners will output copper ore on a transport belt, which will lead to a furnace setup to smelt them into plates. So I'll try to explain this as best as I can, but what this is going to do, these little splitters here, is take the copper ore, splits it onto the two belts, and then it goes onto only one side of the belt. And the belt is going to need to share with coal. Eventually, I'll link up the belt from the coal patch down here. But for now, I'll just use a chest to drop coal onto the belt. The copper and coal will be inserted into the furnaces once I get these inserters placed down. But you can see here, copper is starting to be automatically smelted. So we'll start to get the stockpile of copper plates built up now. After my mini copper smeltery was running, I set up a machine to craft copper cables and insert them directly into a machine to craft red science for me. I'll eventually get around to using transfer belts to belt coal and stone over here, but for now I'll just manually feed the machine. While reds begin to brew, I went back to started to activate the community center cutscene, but was met with disappointment upon finding the real man of the community had moved in. Luckily, there were two more entrances I had not checked yet, the first being Emily's house. I found the wizard, and I should get a random check from it. Zombie sheep? I have no idea what that is. It sounds like it could be a trap, so maybe I should go check in on DLC quest. It'll take, I think, a moment for DLC quest to load, and now I'm stuck. That's DLC quest for you. The bus tunnel is a new entrance. It's the mines, and that's something I could have gotten right away. At least the mines doesn't have an opening or closing time. That's really nice. Oh yeah, I almost got fooled. It's okay. It could have been the quarry, but we got lucky this time. Nothing too exciting from the mines run, although I could now craft a furnace. A crystallarium for crafting the furnace, which is actually pretty good. Crystallariums, we can start replicating the diamonds, sell the diamonds to Clint, and make lots of money. The crystallarium is a big deal. The diamonds will probably be our only source of making money early game. In the many times I've played Stardew and have done the Festival of Ice, I've never talked to Linus over here. But look at that, we got a pickaxe upgrade from the Introductions quest and hearts with Marnie. And we love our Marnie hearts because that unlocks Lewis's shorts. I began to get into a bit of a groove between Stardew and Factorio. Friendship checks are a thing, so I decided birthdays are the quickest way to level up friendship and while waiting for NPCs to leave their bed or house, I could work on my factory. I ran a coal belt to my power setup and made an iron smeltery next to the copper one. The factory had begun to grow. Back in the valley, I gave Evelyn her birthday crocus a day too early, so I slept and gave her another. The extra gift was just enough to reach four hearts and unlock my desert obelisk. This is an insane find as it unlocks the desert plus two new doors. I headed over right away to check Sandy's oasis and found the star drop saloon. Oh, do I show this off now? Yeah, why not? I'll do the journey of the prairie king real quick. I don't know how often you get checks from this. Oh, what I'm guessing is the shop items. The shop items, like once you beat two levels, you access the shop. I'm guessing those are randomized. Okay, I think we have to do one more level if we want to confirm that theory, so... Okay, so I'm guessing these are gonna be random checks. Let's grab the cheapest one. <laughs> we got a fishing level. Okay, okay, we were right. So, those permanent upgrades are random items we can find through factorial researching or stardew checks. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna exit out of Journey of the Prairie King for now. Junimo card's gonna be like the Simon Says Crystal came. I'm just gonna ignore that until I have to do it. I still had a new door at Skull Cavern to visit. And it's the community center! Let's go. I'm really glad we gave Evelyn that extra gift on the 18th, because if you've noticed, for example, Caroline, we gave her a liked gift and only got three hearts with her. So that extra gift I gave her on accident is what allowed us to get to four hearts. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have gotten the Desert Obelisk and I wouldn't have gotten the Community Center. And if you didn't think things were chaotic enough, Bundle items are completely randomized. It's not like, oh, I'm in winter. I should be able to do the winter foraging bundle. No, we need a scorpion carp and octopus and lava eel. <laughs> 
For the winter foraging bundle, what is this? Three extremely hard fish to catch. I continued growing my factory and expanded my red setup to 10 machines, which should significantly speed up research. I'm really looking forward to that backpack upgrade. All right, Willie, we're going to listen to your tale. What can you offer us? We got a stable. It's actually really good. Thank you, Willie. We'll build that tomorrow. Be able to zoom with the horse. Hey, we finally got our backpack. The factory has grown ever so slightly. Ido Kid is here just in time. I finished crafting my energy link bridge. I think I just placed it down here. Guess it'll take any excess energy I can produce and give me money in Stardew. I noticed a biter base dangerously close, so I made my way over to take it out. Um, we might we might get to show off the death link in a moment here, if I'm not careful. Okay, I need to place down the turret and the ammo. Yep, yeah, okay. There we go. There's the death link for you. It was all it was all scripted. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, every time we die in Factorio, we also die in Stardew. Let me go recover my body before we go back to Stardew. Oh yeah, Stardew is paused right now. I should probably unpause it. Again, one of my rules was no being paused in either game. So let's let's talk to Harvey real quick. What'd we lose? 423 gold, that's fine. And all of our wood. At least that base is being taken out. Once that base is taken out, we can go back. Let's just go back to the base and then check out DLC quest because we got the movement pack for that. And we can move to the left now. I guess we can jump now. It looks like we've got a plinth of our own in DLC quest here. There's some more NPCs here. He's saying hopes nobody attacks his sheep, but I guess lucky for him, we don't have any weapons to do so. I'm guessing weapons are one of the things we have to unlock. All right, so I, again, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just jumping around collecting coins and then something's going on now and i think we have to go back to that shop to actually get checks this guy this guy seems to be the guy where we get our checks from i'm, I'm worried about this like zombie sheep these things a little bit inconvenient but we get our checks from oh we get our checks from this guy i have no idea what i just bought so let's go back to a different world to see we got a progressive watering can oh wait the watering can was the check i didn't want the copper watering can with animation canceling is gonna make it go so much slower um, and we don't have a health bar or anything. We died in DLC quest. Oh no. Factorio is fine because our body's right there. What's worrying is Stardew. I want to at least see what these checks are from that shop. Wonder if we can like lure this sheep over here. All right, we got another something. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Construction robots. And since the resource pack gets us like robo ports and stuff, we can maybe start using this soon. Really big sword pack. I'm guessing that'll give us a weapon so that we can deal with that zombie sheep. The next big progression milestone in Factorio is getting the next science pack. Green is the next level, but to unlock the green science pack, we need progressive science pack. All of our science packs are in Stardew or DLC quest. A hint costs only 20 points for Factorio. We're at 10 points right now. That means after we research 10 more technologies here, we can hint the next science pack. Not much to do in Factorio right now. The next thing will be defending against the biters if our pollution reaches over there. But yeah, we'll probably do a mines run. And the mines was the bus stop. I did outrun a lost book, believe it or not, with my double movement speed. Again, we can make it down to floor 10, but we haven't made it from floor 5 to floor 10 yet. So I need to do that got kale seeds. I think this is our first crop to grow. We don't have spring, we don't have ginger island, and we don't have a greenhouse, so can't do anything with them. All right, we're ready for our first bundle, summer foraging. 99 stone, 99 wood, and a solar essence gets us hearts with Caroline. We researched something called really big sword pack. Another thing about DLC quest is you have to unlock like animations, you have to unlock sound, and you have to unlock the ability to pause the game. So I can't even pause the game to check what the controls are right now. We need a sword. <laughs> Maybe I have to talk to the blacksmith here? I, I have no clue. Maybe the really big sword is something later on and I need a really small sword? I have no clue. That's fine. Let's return to Stardew. Hey, look at that timing. Caroline's ran right into us here. All right, we're done with Caroline. Let's go to sleep and maybe sleep until Linus's birthday because that's, I think, the only winter four hearts we haven't done. Oh, I should have slept every five days and stockpiled on diamonds. 
Oh well, that would have been smart. I think the goal before I finish streaming will be our next hint. 52 points. We're close. A season would probably be best. I'd probably prioritize season over fishing rod. Could be really close to a hint. One more check. One more check. We got our tree house. We'll be able to hint now, but I want to see where that entrance leads first. Yeah, we've got the tree house here. The tree house leads to the tempered puzzle. Okay. Nothing useful from that door, but that's okay because we can hint now. How are we doing in fact for you? This would be cool to hint at the same time, but I'm still contemplating between summer and spring. We have kale seeds, so being able to grow those will be very nice because farming levels and money. On the other hand, summer has the luau, which is a really easy way to get friendship points with NPCs. So chat had me hint spring, which was found at a factorial research. Thankfully, since these are visible from the beginning, it doesn't actually use a hint and I can hint something else. Three science packs, oh no. All right, so spring, I guess the next best is summer. Okay, summer is something we could actually hint, but it's not over here. Ooh, tie between summer and fishing rod. All right, we need a few more votes then. More time, we've got fishing rod. Okay, people want me to go fishing today, I guess. Or next time, fish sanity. <laughs> Remember how I was saying we need to grind up fishing levels to craft crab pots to get checks from the crab pots and then we'll get a fishing rod from that? It looks like that's the case. Factorio, I know 100% for sure I'm going to hint the next science pack is that parallax pack in DLC quest. I had no clue what a parallax pack from DLC quest was, but I knew for my fishing rod I needed to find one more fishing level in order to craft crab pots. Because as you can see, we've kind of hit a little bit of a roadblock. Uh oh. That's the artillery trap. Now that I mention it, I was feeling a bit trapped. However, after recovering my bodies, I recalled Robin was selling a fishing level, so I headed over there and bought the shipping bin blueprint for my fishing level 3. After sleeping, I could craft a crab pot, place it down, and sleep until finding a snail. Harvesting the snail unlocked my first fishing pole, the training rod. Catching every fish for the first time is a check, although my training rod restricts me to basic fish. For the most part, that is. While trying to collect 5 green algae, I casually caught a mutant carp and unlocked the beach bridge, which will eventually allow me to marry NPCs. To get all of the checks from the bachelors and bachelorettes, we have to marry each and every one of them, divorce them, and move on to the next. Which should be a little bit fun later. Ooh, we got the ship- wait, what? We had access to the shipping bin this whole time? I guess it was just red research. I sold four diamonds to Clint, and with a little extra money from my Factorio Energy Bank, I was able to afford the fish pond blueprint for another pickaxe upgrade. I grabbed the sealed pickaxe from the mail and used it to make it down to floor 40 in the mines, although I didn't find anything useful. We can get rid of all of this stuff on the farm now. Actually have a quicker path. Yeah, the training rod is so range because you can catch a legendary fish. I caught the mutant carp earlier today with the training rod, but you can't catch a lot of just other basic fish, so. I don't know. We found fall. What? That's the stupidest place to find fall. Level six foraging. If I hinted fall, I could have just grinded that out, but okay. I guess we're change of plans. We're gonna go into fall. Yeah, chopping trees pays off in the end. Finally, finding a new season unlocks so many new check opportunities, but I first wanted to get any checks from the night market before leaving winter. Island obelisk. We need 15,000 gold. But that's the island obelisk. That's gonna be a game changer. Okay. It doesn't mean we can get to the farm necessarily, but we'll get to the middle of the island. I should be able to get enough money with the diamonds and wine by then. I guess I can check the night market again later today, because I need to spend today figuring out how I'm gonna make enough money. We can sell the amethyst, emerald, topaz. A lot of this stuff I would normally hold on to, but I don't want to sleep through another winter, and I really want that island obelisk. We can sell all of the holly. Doesn't sell for a lot, but anything counts at this point. Snow yams, winter roots. Let's just sell all of them. Again, I don't know how much this is gonna earn us, so I just wanna do as much as I can. And then tomorrow, we'll see how much we have, and then if I need any extra, I can sell these gems and bars. We saw something good from forging level 6, so maybe something good from a mining level. Hearts with Haley, told you something good. Oh, golden pumpkin I can sell now. That's 5,000 gold right there. Yeah, we'll have more than enough money tomorrow, hopefully. But for now, let's go to the night market, get the lupini check. I'll buy the mermaid. Got cluster grenade trap, which I think, thankfully, the grenade- Oh! <laughs> okay, at least I got, um, 
I got that. But it destroyed our energy link bridge, which is really annoying. But that's what the grenade trap does. And we are out of things to research in Factorio. So getting the green science pack will be nice. I sold a bunch of junk for 10,000 gold and was able to obtain 15,000 total thanks to the bank. We'll start by RNGing it on the Lupini check here. Luster grenade trap, come on. At least... At the very least, we didn't place another one of this, so there wasn't anything to be destroyed. Yeah, I thought Lupini was on my side, but I guess not this time. This is why I wanted all this money. 15,000 gold gets us Island Obelisk from the Iridium Fireplace. There we go. And that's really it we need to do at the night market, I think. Oh, I forgot to give the wizard a birthday gift. That would have been really good timing. I could have built the Island Obelisk, given him a gift yesterday. All right, Island Obelisk, that is huge. I'll place it right there for now. now. Let's go to the island. So we'll need to find the turtle unlocks as random items, which could be hidden in any of the three games. Another option would be finding the Paired Express unlock. And then the island resort was something we could buy from Robin. Once we buy the island resort, we'll have access to this entrance over here to the Pirate's Cove. But for now, let's go check out what's going on in the jungle. Should be two new entrances. Fiddlehead Fern was needed in one of the ones. I recall. All right, so we'll check the gem bird room first. Leads us to Sandy's. Not only we get Sandy, but we also get a second entrance once we get the club card. All right, Leo's treehouse leads us to Pierre's. We're making progress now, and I think we have hearts with Caroline, so we can go through her door as well. So let's see where this leads. Talia's cottage. Okay, so that end here, and Pierre's was from Leo's treehouse. So not too hard to get over here because we just have to take the island obelisk. The only other thing is taking this boat back, but I'm pretty sure we found Willie's shack. Let's get us back here, which was the other side of the volcano. And I don't have my watering can, so I'm trapped. I dropped off some artifacts with Gunther and found my club card, which ended up leading to the bathhouse. We've got the bathhouse. I could tell because we changed like right before we entered. Still sidetracked from ending the eternal winter and entering fall, I decided to go on a volcano expedition in hopes of finding iron ore. I smelted five bars and was able to afford the iron axe upgrade which got me my next science pack for Factorio. Unfortunately, green science required solid fuel which I need another progressive processing research for, and it also required green wire which I needed the circuit network research for, so can't craft these just yet. After this, it was finally time to enter my new season of fall. Of course, with fall we get all the fall forgeables and all the new fall quests. We've got Kent here, unskippable cutscene. I can catch the angler real quick. The only reason I said that is because I found bubbles up here. Gotta take advantage of those. Just do a casual angler catch. We're a professional fisher at this point after catching the mutant carp last time with the training rod. There we go. Got the map pack and an artillery trap. Okay, before I switch back into... Oh. Uh... It was a delayed reaction. How many artillery traps did I put? I think I only put five, and I think we found like two or three. Well, that backfired on me quite a bit. Oh, Thardu glitched out. I don't know what happened there, but we didn't lose anything, so I guess luck's kind of on my side. Bubbles. I love my bubbles. Three sardines. We need to return to Demetrius. We got concrete. We can place it on the ground to make us walk faster. There's always the chance it's needed as an ingredient for the science pack since those are randomized. All right, Haley, start with the bouquet. No, Lewis, not who we're looking for. We're looking for Haley. All right, we're officially dating Haley. I've got all this stuff in here anyway. Let's just bring it all and see what we can drop off. Okay, so I think it was the fall crops bundle we can for sure complete. Her sardine sear. It's just random teleport. Oh no. We've reached perfection. We've beaten the game. Well, so much for dropping off the rest of our items there. Yep, Boulder's still here. We'll go to sleep up here. Uh-oh. I think I broke the game, guys. Don't use the sleep command while you're sitting. Okay, I think we're safe. Will I actually go to sleep this time? Okay, so where did we leave off here? All right, Wilted Bouquet for Dye Bundle. Bread for the Chef's Bundle. Omni Geode for the River Fish. We have Seaweed for the Crab Pot Bundle. Fiddlehead Fern. Perch is needed for the Spring Crops. It was good to get some of that stuff dropped off. Double Jump Pack for DLC Quest. 
Abigail gets us progressive processing. There we go. Abigail gets us progression. I think that's oil processing. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, we've got pump jacks now and solid fuel. So we can start using our pump jacks on oil nodes where I think this is the closest one down here. But we extract the oil and then put it through these oil refineries here to produce petroleum. And then we can turn the petroleum into solid fuel. And the solid fuel was required for the green signs. We did get a free sample of solid fuel, but I can't start crafting these until I get the green wire as well. At the very least, we're one step closer. Okay, the blacksmith bundle is complete with the red snapper. Got hearts with Sebastian. Any of the bachelor and bachelorette hearts are actually pretty good because there are checks from marrying each of them. Got a crab. Progressive science pack. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's check that out real quick. We got the next science pack for Factorio. Military science packs, which are steel, rails, concrete, and a pistol. I think this one we can actually automate. Concrete is a little bit more involved. Requires iron ore, stone bricks, and water. Rails require steel, stone, and iron. So we're gonna have to get steel smelting. I haven't done that yet, so let's get that going. Yeah, we have steel smelting now. The iron ore is being smelted into plates, and the slates are being put into the steel furnaces here, and the iron plates get smelted into steel. While I wait for Lewis, I can talk to people. Hey, we got our walls for Pactorio from Jody. I probably should get four hearts with all the NPCs. Oh, got robotics for Factorio from the Grange display. Did I? I didn't get first place. I, what, what? How did I get first place with such a lousy Grange display? Oh, it was the site. The island resort was the silo. That's a new entrance. It's a really easy new entrance. We can do that like right now. All right, island resort from the silo. And then we should get a new entrance. Got Elliot's house. Ooh, disappointing. We want Marnie. Not Elliot. Hey, I told you. <laughs> four heart checks. I don't know. Four heart checks are just good for some reason. But we got another coup. We can start making the big money now from the golden eggs. Now it's from Four Hearts with Vincent. Who a quest to distract me. Smallmouth bass for Willie. That's an easy one from the river right here. Have I even caught a smallmouth bass yet? I don't think I have. Got science pack, another science pack. We're finding all sorts of good stuff. Ancient seeds. We can actually start growing that now because we're in fall. Ancient fruit wine empire time. We've got two money making methods because we also have the free big coop. Oh, and then we recently got that science pack. Electronic circuits, which we can craft. Submachine guns, which we can craft. Those just require iron and copper. Gates. Gates, we need another research. And then heavy oil, which we need another progressive processing research for. Since the gray juice required concrete, I decided to set up automated concrete crafting. Do I go back into winter or fall? I think obviously fall, so our ancient fruit keeps growing. Uh, that's no question right there. We might just do a, some auto sleeping for, we got an ugly baby. Our first baby and it's an ugly one. But I might just, instead of doing like so many birthday checks, it might be better to just like auto sleep, wait for the ancient fruit to grow. Broken Glasses completes the exotic foraging bundle. Got audio pack. Oh, I can actually hear stuff in DLC quests now. Interesting. Level 8 mining got us progressive electric energy distribution. That is very good. That gets us upgraded power poles in Factorio. I played a little more Journey of the Prairie King and had a with the outlaw to find Pierre's missing stock list. All right, so it looks like Rusty Key. Hint, Rusty Key. Let's go. <laughs> What? Oh no. It's at Skull Cavern Invasion. That's a Golden Walnut Room Mr. Key challenge. So that won't be for a while. We're gonna stay locked out of our house for a long, long time. And whatever's behind the sewer entrance in town, we won't be able to access for a long, long time. Well, that's a funny location for it. I had found a yam from a Dougie in the mines and turned it into seeds to grow and harvest to unlock my pumpkin seeds, which were my first unlocked crop that I could actually buy and grow a bunch of. Besides the pumpkins, I was now making a good amount of money from my golden chickens and mayonnaise as well. And no, I can't drink the mayonnaise yet. This is 1.5. Got the mayonnaise factory. We've got the pomegranate wine factory. We used to have the diamond factory, but I had to retire that one. After many months of neglecting my cat, the inevitable rain finally provided enough bowl water to reach friendship level four and unlock my eggplant seeds. Continued giving out gifts to all the fall NPCs to get quick checks, but didn't find anything too exciting. With my new nest egg, I bought the 5,000 gold vault bundle and found the silo, which would let me make even more money as I could now keep my chickens well-fed and therefore happy. Ten bat wings for the spring forge and got us another 
movement speed bonus. Oh, that's, I think, seven movement speed bonuses out of eight. So that's going to be really fast now. Build our free silo. Oh, we're done with Sandy. We're done with Marnie. Robin we're done with. George we still haven't found a love gift for, but we've made progress with him. I'll okay, we'll have to do George on the 24th. Oh, and then I wanted to plant some pumpkins. I'm fairly confident the pack of 50 pumpkins is 4,000 gold. I was right. There we go, 50 pumpkins. Movement speed bonuses are both a gift and a curse because it makes it a lot harder to aim. All right, so that's the best layout here, but it'll do. Now we're moving too fast where we can't even really place the seeds efficiently. We'll have to walk slowly to be safe. There we go. I heard something in Factorio. Hold on. Are we finally getting a biter attack? This is the moment we've been waiting for. And this is why we had placed gun turrets here. I wonder where they came from. Oh, wow. Yeah, for whoever was asking about if the biters expand their bases, they sure do. They're pretty close to our base now. So let's take care of these guys real quick. So I'm going to place some turrets down to be safe to protect me. And the grenades should do pretty good damage. Oh, but we have spitters now. There were some spitters that have like the ranged attack, so we have to watch out for them. Oh, let's not die here. Flamethrower is pretty powerful, so. We might be able to just take them out with the flamethrower alone and not have to worry about any gun turrets. And the bitters can be dodged, but they do a good job of predicting where you're walking. As you can tell, I am very bad at taking out biter bases until I get tanks. Tanks make it easy. Just run them over. All right. We can keep the worms as pets for now, because worms don't really contribute to biter expansion or anything. But there is a nice place for a wall right here, and they definitely probably came through this way. After that biter attack, I decided to set up some more defenses to feel at peace. This marked the end of my third stream session, and I'm guessing Kaido was tired of seeing me stuck, so he gave me a hint and told me I was able to begin the second campaign of DLC quest without finishing the first, which I had no clue I was able to do. What I originally thought was after we beat DLC quest, we could play Live Freemium or Die, but apparently we can just start Live Freemium or Die, even though it gives us this little warning. We're gonna override that, start new game, and I've been granted early access to the following abilities, moving and jumping, audio, animation, pausing, and having fun. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, so I have a sword. I can swing my sword and I think slay these zombie sheep? Okay. Um... Well, at least we have a health bar this time, so we can keep track if we're gonna die or not. Something has been attacking the villagers in the night. Come on, follow me. Okay, we have a sword at least, so... Should be good. Oh, I guess this dude died. How many must die to teach me game mechanics? Particles pack. I wonder if this is the thing that Kaido Kid was talking about that I'd miss. But I'm a, I'm a true gamer. I, I look at the little details. I smell the roses. Find every hidden secret that there is. I need to find the merchant that sells the packs. So... Oh wait, that's the merchant right there. Progressive Gun for Journey of the Prairie King, Traveling Merchant Monday, Farm Computer, and Sam Hearts. So nothing crazy, although there could be something good behind Traveling Merchant for Monday, so I will buy that. I, I can really just buy everything, so I'll buy Progressive Gun, Farm Computer, and Sam Hearts. I need the Crouch DLC, the Crawl DLC, or maybe there's a way around. I, the thing is, I saw that coming. My brain didn't connect. Okay, so we're gonna avoid dropping into this spike trap. I'm not a platformer gamer, okay? Factorial body one more time. Oh wait, I forgot, we can't go up because of that little gap there. Okay, that time I did the gamer jump, we're good. And I got a DLC pack, see, it was worth it. We got progressive logistics, which, it's not like essential, but this is the next level of transport belts. Oh, here's a DLC. Progressive Science Pack. Oh wait, this is what we hinted. Progressive Science Pack isn't what we need. We need Circuit Network, but we already have another Science Pack, which is always good to get Science Packs. For Production Science Pack, we need Inserter, Constant Combinator, Grenade, and Crude Oil. The Traveling Merchant from the DLC Quest Merchant paid off as I found my second fishing rod, which would be the bamboo pole, meaning I could now technically catch every single fish in the game. Whether or not I'm good enough is a question for another time. Oh, it's Grandpa. 
Grandpa always is causing some kind of problem here, but I think we should be good now. It's already been two years. I should probably be a little bit smarter about this and just hint summer right now while it's on my mind. So I'm just gonna hint summer right now at the most random time, and maybe we can go into summer instead of winter and get faster checks done. We'll see. Level nine mining. And I think fall was at like a foraging level. So two of the seasons were at skill level checks. So I guess I can go grinding in the mines and then go into summer. We got summer! There we go. I actually didn't realize we were already level 8 on that. I guess I don't need to do a mines run. We got a hat. We got a hat. We got the deluxe pirate hat, but you know, I'm Captain Canadia, so I'm gonna wear the deluxe pirate hat from now on. There we go. That was a nice little volcano run right there. So I think we can just sleep into summer right away. Got three seasons now. We know spring is in factorial, but we need some research for that. So yeah, we're going into summer. With summer upon me, I could now plant any unique seeds or fruit saplings unique to the season. I also attended the luau where the mayor loved my eggs so much he gave me the skull key. Now all I need was to find Mr. Key's walnut room for the invasion quest to find my hinted rusty key. However, rather than giving out birthday gifts or completing quests for lots of checks, I decided to focus on one super obscure one that Kaido had been teasing for a while in DLC quests. He told me there was one check that I would never find and a hint he provided along with it was that this check was accessible within 10 seconds from any point in time. This made me think of the Konami code, but inputting that did not work, so I had to resort to asking chat. Okay, well if you do choose your words very precisely, then the 10 second thing is definitely true, and it means none of these NPCs are involved, because I can be 10 seconds away from these NPCs. Okay, he gave me a smiley face. I think that means that's on the right track, right? So it has to be a code. Kaido could mention it had something to do with a different game. So if anybody wants to look up Atari Adventure cheat codes, maybe? Maybe that's like on the right track, Doom? Oh, I, I, I didn't know Doom was on Archipelago. Is there a cheat code in Doom that could be? Code is IDDQD. Oh, Kaido could give a smiley face, uh-oh. Okay, so the code is IDDQD, IDKFA. Hey, there we go. I don't know, flip all. There we go. Sent fishing level to Stardew Cap. Nice try. Okay, so it was a check and we just got a fishing level for, oh, and that's why we leveled up fishing. Okay, it all makes sense now. It wasn't anything useful, but we did figure it out. After that side adventure, I completed a few new bundles, bought out Clint, then began to fish. Rainbow Trout Island North Turtle. <gasps> We have progression! Finally! Something new! I love me some new doors. Let's go check that out. Are right, you ready to yell at me for all the golden walnuts I'm about to miss here? But I'm gonna try to do my best to get all of them. Can I outrun the golden walnut? Like, forever? Like, I, what happens if I go into a new entrance while the golden walnut is chasing me? It should collect, right? Okay, it collects still. But hopefully I find Marnie. That's what we're going for. I'm gonna get all the golden walnuts first to build some suspense. I think I did a pretty good job with the walnuts this time. I think I got most of them. Vincent hate clams. He likes snails. He loves snails. All right, we'll start with the snail tent while we're on the topic of snails. We got the Bombo Big Frog. Oh boy. One door useless volcano. The key room. Oh. We can get the rusty key now. We hinted the rusty key because it would have gotten us a new entrance as well as being able to actually return back home. But the rusty key was at Skull Cavern Invasion. Skull Cavern Invasion, we can complete now, which that's doable. Floor Hunter Skull Cavern Invasion, easy. And this is a legit key to the town. I can get the horse flute, which I will. The horse flute is amazing. So the golden walnut room isn't Marnie, but it's better than Nothing. My current weapon was a dagger, so I decided to do volcano runs until finding a hammer. And after a couple runs, I did find the dwarf hammer, which will help out with Skull Cavern Invasion. After two failed attempts, I began my third. Third time's the charm, or so they say. And let's not die again. We've got a Congo line of mummies over here. See if I can... How many I can slay at once. Alright, ready for this? The ultimate mummy blow up. Got a ladder there. Third prismatic shard. Okay, we need two more. 
We got two shafts, cool. And of course, we only get two floors because we can't skip past floor 100. We got the rusty key! Let's go from the Skull Cavern invasion. We did it. I finally found the rusty key, which would let me return home and access a new door. All right, rusty key gets us the sewer access and leads us to Emily and Haley's house. <laughs> That's not useful. All right, hint, carrot express. Harvest sweet gem berry. I don't think I have the rare seed, and I don't think I can buy the rare seed until I unlock it. So most likely, we're still locked behind that, which is okay. Many more checks to do in Stardew in the meantime. Okay, wizard was Emily. And we get house. That's actually really good. We can marry Leia now. Dark talisman quest. Enter the sewer and ask Provis about the dark talisman. Maybe this unlocks the random check for completing this quest. Oh. Interesting. We get a new door. I don't know what triggered this new door, but hey, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. New door. We get the Pirate's Cove. All right. Mermaid Pendant for 5,000 gold. Hopefully Leia comes over here. Oh, good timing. I was just about to exit and then come back, but here, have a Mermaid Pendant. Proposing to her at the saloon. Pretty good place to propose to someone, I'd say. Spreading a weed that's caused damage on my farm. Uh-oh. It's not a good way to start the wedding. But Leia is our first spouse here, and there will be many more for check. I did another mines run to find my backpack and a pickaxe or DLC quest, which I thought would give me progression, but turned out the new area required the ball jump pack. Are we safe here? Nope. I also found my 12 and 14 heart checks from Leia, which meant it was time to move on. Sorry, Leia. Um, you didn't really help us out too much, so I'm gonna have to divorce you and move on to Haley. I just realized if we didn't have the mayor's house, if we didn't know where the mayor's house was, we wouldn't be able to divorce. 50,000 gold to divorce Leia. It's a lot of money. We have the funds though, and I think we need to because we need checks from Haley. Sorry, Leia, but that's what we gotta do. Let's talk to Leia one last time before the big day. Have a salad. I'm sorry, Leia. She even gave us a mushroom. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, well. Say bye to Leia's room. All right, old Marainer. We're on our second wife now. Another special someone in my heart for sure. Let's find Haley, probably home right now. Emily's house was the sewer. We can go into her dark room. We're not gonna do that until we marry her because we're respectful, so have a bouquet or pendant and we'll marry you in a few days, probably in winter. Oh, Shane, take a hot pepper. We got one more day of summer on the 28th. My children will have a new mother soon so that they won't be neglected by me. All right, we're marrying Haley. We're already on to our second wife here. Marriage is expensive though, because we need 5,000 gold for the mermaid pendant and then 50,000 gold for divorcing them. All right, we'll kiss Haley and give her coconuts every day. I wonder what Haley does with the coconuts. Like how she cracked them open. We need a certain tool for that. Maybe she loses her head. Have another coconut. Any fun plans for the day? Not today, but tomorrow you're getting another gift. Kent got the deluxe fish tank. Hey, let's go. We can finally decorate our house with a fish tank. Okay, it'll be worth it to go grab that right now. Although I don't know if I have to wait one more day or not. Might have to wait one more day. Got circuit net. Circuit network? Is, is that it? Is, is it? Do we have circuit network now? Do we finally have circuit network? We finally have green wires, okay. It was Haley all along. I don't know if I continue the Stardew plan or if we do. I think we have to do some Factorio now. We have to at least get green set up. Those darn four heart checks. They always get me. We do need oil. So I guess it's time to go on a conquest for oil. Before setting up oil processing, I needed to craft some items, so I went back into Stardew while I waited. Five Iridium bars. Shuffle. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> It's the shuffle trap between the chests. All of our chests have been shuffled. I'm worried. I have a chest at the mine still. Does it shuffle all of my chests around? Oh, oh no. This is the worst trap. This is by far the worst trap. So maybe I should remove this chest over here. This is the first trap that actually feels punishing. Hi, Haley. You don't know what I've been through today. Oh boy. Okay. We're not going to spend time organizing this stuff. I'm just going to find what I need and then deal with this 
off stream. It's a different map. The night market map is a different map, which is why my chest is not here. It'll be back. Don't worry, the chest will come back, but not until the 18th. Well, that's interesting. I guess I'm gonna wait around here. I won't have my... I won't have my fishing pole for the night market. So this this trap really got me. I'm gonna have to wait till next winter, which is fine, because I'm gonna do winter again. Yeah, somehow Kaido's just like giggling in the distance right now. And that's 14 hearts with her. Got the fish pond, which I might need, because one of those bundles requires caviar. Haley might have been essential. There's no other way to get the caviar, I don't think. Oh, thank you, Haley, for that. You served us well, but we're gonna need to make some money before we can divorce you. While I wait around for the night market, I will take out the biter bases. We're gonna wait right here at the beach, go back into back for you. There's a base right here. I'm gonna play it safe and do the turret creep strategy. And then the rockets do the most damage to the bases. I'm gonna shoot a rocket and then try to retreat back to the turret so that they take out the biters and then repeat. And I can use my grenades if I need. First bases we took out only had like a couple of hives, but these ones have like four or five and also a few worms. So they're gonna get a little bit difficult. Gold chubs in this game too. Yep, we definitely do. It's the best energy healing item. All right, and then this base should die in just a second. Okay, there we go. We made it on one piece, that's what matters. I'm gonna collect my turrets and then go to the next base. While waiting around for Lupini checks, I cleared out some bases by the oil I was planning to tap. Got the Dark Talisman, which is a new door. Let's go, Lupini. Dark Talisman, Let's see where that leads. And new door. <laughs> it's vanilla. Okay, but we do get a second new door from this. We've got this little teleport and then it leads us to Marty's, let's go. All right, that's the grand finale for this stream. And then the encore will be me organizing my chests. We got Marty for the shorts. Shorts are the best part. Marnie meant I could now buy animals, which were required for some products for bundles. I think I will hint sweet gem berry. So yeah, hint rare seed. Is that, oh no, we need the island unlock. The blue discus can only be caught on the island farm area in that island river. I need to catch the blue discus to get the rare seed, to grow the sweet gem berry, to get the parrot express, to get to the island farm. Can't you fish in the broken parrot bridge in the north? Oh, I don't actually know, but let's try it out. Yeah, that would make sense if blue discus can be caught right here. We'll certainly try at least. We can catch a fish here. But yeah, I'm guessing we can get the blue discus here. Nice. Blue discus gets us the rare seed. Let's go. That was a worthwhile hint. That was a good hint. I was still in winter, so I couldn't grow the rare seed yet, but I could start working on green science. After clearing biters, I could set up some pump jacks on the crude oil nodes and begin piping crude oil back to the base. I next made some oil refineries to turn the oil into petroleum, which I could process through a chemical plant to turn into solid fuel. Now I had all ingredients for green, so I set up some crafters alongside my red ones. After green juice was automated, I could go back into Stardew and begin growing my rare seed. After a lovely fall hibernation, I could harvest the sweet gem berry and find my parrot express, which now meant I had access to the island farm. I planted a bunch of ancient fruits seeds then checked the shipwreck to find my fruit bat cave and the simon says cave to find pam after waiting around a bit for my green signs to kick in my spring finished researching so i slept and entered my new season of spring i began with birthdays including lewis who gave me the island farmhouse this led to the outside volcano shortcut and the bombo cave led to sebastian's basement not too exciting but i really didn't have any more exciting entrances to find i also researched the tractor garage and decided to give it a little spin it's definitely scything the grass here. That's interesting. Oh, it hoes dirt. Okay. And then does it... Wow. Okay. The tractor is quite powerful. Got the key walnut room from Four Hearts. So that was accessible pretty early. And of course, always getting these things from Four Heart checks. And then laser shooting speed's not important. Wish the tractor could be brought over to Ginger Island. There's a hotkey to summon it anywhere. Oh, the default is backspace? Yep, <laughs> we've got the tractor at the island, okay. Okay, that's not too bad, it's pretty fast. It's pretty loud. Oh, and then the mini quarry here. Mine all these rocks right here. 
Oh, the tractor in the mines. Oh no. The tractor in the mines is gonna be cursed. Right, Key's walnut room is a new door, and it's gotta be Willy. It was the island house. And there we go. Time is money pack, which was one of my hints. I think I can get a sword now. The time is money pack was not what I needed for a sword, but simply got me another check. The time is money pack basically just got me another check, which was the cheese press. Explanation mark hint sword. Quest cap sword is at Canadian dialogue pack in Quest Cap's world. Canadian dialogue is live premium or die. Before doing anything else in the second campaign, I would need the wall jump ability. Hint wall jump pack. Wall jump pack is at 14 hearts with Sebastian. There's the flower dance for checks. I'll do that. I wonder if Haley will get jealous at me for dancing with Sebastian. Should be a check from here. We've got finish the fight pack. I don't know what finish the fight pack does. Only 213 gold in the bank. I hope that's not useful. <laughs> for blue science, I needed gates, so I hinted progressive wall. Island ingredients. I have the special orders board now, but island ingredients is so annoying. That's the one where I have to get a bunch of ginger or taro tubers or pineapples. Got those Sebastian hearts now. This one required three pieces of tail. I thought I got all the lupinis, but maybe now I have all the lupinis. I think I'll do a quick little mines run. Quick little mines run here with the tractor. Um, I think I have to spawn the tractor on every floor, right? Uh, but, oh, something's happening in Factorio. Oh, they found their way around. The biters got smart. Come here, biter. Poor little robot was trying to repair, but getting eaten at the same time. The worms aren't gonna be happy with me, but I think I can kill them with a grenade very quickly. Or I'm gonna die. Or I just make it out alive this time. That works too. Nope, didn't lose any items. What time is it in starter? Six o'clock? We'll see how far I can make it. Oh, can I ride the tractor down the ladder? What? This is a game changer. I can ride the tractor down the ladder. I've been doing this foolishly this whole time. I can just stay on the tractor. Floor 120 got 10 key seasoning and traveling merchant for Friday from floor 120. I haven't thought about what season to do next time. I think I said winter for Sebastian. Island ingredients, 100 pineapples. Do I have pineapple seeds? That's the real question. I have pineapples, which I can turn into pineapple seeds. So this quest should be doable. I can just grow a bunch of pineapples. But if I plant 50 pineapple seeds, which is pretty much one like iridium sprinklers worth i should be good and we have 48 pineapple seeds that's the perfect amount to fill this space right here these ones will grow in two weeks let's file for a divorce sorry Haley. sebastian have an egg and did that repair our relationship yeah we're back up to 10 hearts with sebastian fluid handling is at island resort hold on could i have seen this this whole time fluid handling wow all right, so I need to grind up some golden walnuts then. 20 golden walnuts for this. Today, I think the pineapples should be finished growing. Let's check over there. There will be another harvest in a week, and then that should be all I need for the island ingredients. Island ingredients will unlock progressive wall. Progressive wall to the last thing we need for blue science. Sebastian's the goal right now. Sebastian at 14 hearts. I've got the wall jump pack or DLC quest. Got potato seeds. Got a few new seeds from factorial researches that I'll have to grow at the island. Wondering if the fishing rod would be a worthwhile hint. I think I do need to catch the scorpion carp eventually, and I don't know if I can catch the scorpion carp without the trap bobber or not. So we got a spook fish. <laughs> I was just talking about the progressive fishing rod. There we go. <laughs> Talk about manifesting. Good thing I didn't hint it. I've got a bunch of new crop seeds to grow on the island now. Can't do the frog quest. Can I do... What's the first one? I think melon's the... It goes melon, wheat, then garlic. And I don't have melon. Yeah, here you go, Willy. Have a squid. Got melon seeds. Hey, I'll just talk about melon seeds. Melon seeds are good. Uh, I can do the Bombo Big quest now. There's one for a bundle. And sunflower seed. Sunflower, not as important, but two new seeds are two new checks after growing them. So I'm happy with both of those. 
Willie always comes in clutch. I entered the wizard's trap door to find a single golden walnut then returned to Ginger Island to plant some seeds. I planted kale, rice, and fairy roses as I needed five gold stars of each for the community center. While I waited for those to grow, I harvested the rest of my pineapple, which completed the island ingredient quest, and I got my progressive wall, which I needed for blue science. I also messed around with the tractor some more. Tractor's a bit overpowered, I think. I harvested my gold star crops and entered summer to find a rainy day and bought another pendant and proposed to Sebastian. Wall jump was in my near future. We're slowly eliminating all of the bachelor and bachelorettes. Before wooing Sebastian some more, I completed the gembird puzzle and now had 20 golden walnuts to buy fluid handling for Factoria, which I will need to deal with fluids like heavy and light oil. Alright, well there's the wall jump pack from 14 hearts. That's all I wanted Sebastian for, so I think it's time to divorce him pretty soon. Yeah, we can jump off walls now. And get up here, see where this leads. I still have this loading screen thing. And apparently this is the dark zone. Maybe there's a pack that gets lights for it? But it looks like there are some spikes here that I'm gonna have to avoid. Okay, it looks like the, this was from the checkpoint pack. I've got checkpoints now. Please add world. Maybe there's a DLC? in order to get this. I think there was something I can buy with more coins, so I can at least get that. Be careful about all these spikes here. This area is dark because our art director says silhouettes are artistic. Turn back great danger ahead. I think that means we keep going forward. We got a cutscene here. A bunch of zombie sheep. Wonder if those plants were from a pack and it was a random unlock. And if I didn't have them, I would have died. That's my thought, at least. Oh, I'm killing this guy. Is that it? Is that all I do up there? Or am I getting progression here? Did I win the game? I'm so confused. Okay, I was about to say. Error 307, lost connection to server. Oh, this is actually an error. I thought this was like a joke in the game, but no, I'm actually getting error from Archipelago. Strange. Not sure what's going on here with the LC quest. Nope, I'm back now. I'm so confused what's going on. I'll do some more exploring DLC quests, but again, I'm kind of going back and forth between all the games here. Got bridge repair. That's a new door from Harvesting the Red Cabbage. That's actually really good. Oh, the merchant's gone. It's now a digital store. Quest cap sword. Oh, I needed this for the first DLC quest, right? This is the sword for the first DLC quest. That's actually super important. Let's buy that right away. And then shooting speed for Factorio. Not important, but I'm gonna get it. I, I think I hinted that, and, it, and I remember it being at the Canadian Dialogue Pack, which I need to wall jump before. So it's actually the thing that was actually really essential. Lots of new coins. We're just gonna rack up the deaths, and then hopefully it'll be okay. These ones are a little bit more tricky to grab. But it looked like there was a secret right there. The wall was like open. Yeah, I guess that's it from this zone. But let's go check out what that new pack is before I go recover my bodies. Evelyn hearts for 10 gold. Okay, blue science time. Blue science, might as well just place it right next to the gray science here. I also need submachine guns. I can do that right here. These ones were pretty simple. They just need copper, iron, and iron gear wheels. So that's 20. And then I need to double this setup right here. That seems like a whole lot, but that's gonna create two science packs a second, which is how much I'm doing with all the other ones. It looks like there should be something right here. That's a comedy pack. Okay, I did get something new. What do we get? We got a rare crow. A rare crow for Staru. But I think there's a check for collecting every rare crow, so I guess that could be useful. And then the... I think that's it. For the submachine guns. The submachine guns are one of the... Oh! <laughs> There's the artillery trap. I completely forgot about that. But look at how nice the robots are. They just instantly repair everything for me. Okay, I'm not worried about up there right now. As long as we get some blues going, I'm happy. Okay, gates are being transported. That's good. I'm just weighing on the heavy oil. I should be good once I connect this pipe. Okay, pipe's connected. All right, first blue science. There we go. Then we bring them over to this belt to be combined with the gray science. Okay, and then of course I need to actually research something blue. Might start with that fishing level, because that's something I know will be useful. Yeah, I guess I can go back up to that sheep area. 
What happened here? That is banned. Let's see you buy your way out of this one. So I guess I need a random check until I can access this area again. So I guess it's back into the first campaign then. We actually have a sword now in this one. Can I kill the sheep? Oh, and I have the double jump pack. I forgot about that. It's now nighttime in the forest. You will need to buy the night version of the map to access the other side. I thought I had... Oh no, I need the gun pack for this. Okay. I got the gun pack notification, so that means there's a new pack I can buy, which would be the gun pack, but of course it's random. This one's the zombie pack. I think I've pretty thoroughly explored this area here. A fairy rose for here. Five gold star fairy roses. Got a foraging level. Got a mushroom tree seed from the lake fish bundle. So the last things to do in summer are the octopus and sturgeon. This one might be it. Okay, that one was a lucky octopus. That one was giving me a tough time at times, but it ended up being not too bad. Low density structures. Low density structures are actually an ingredient in Factorio that I need for rocket parts. I don't know if it's randomized at all, but they are an ingredient that are probably needed for one of the very, very late game things. But yeah, besides that, I still have that seafoam pudding going, so let's um, go for the scorpion carp real quick. This one's the scorpion carp. Scorpion carp's actually not too bad with a huge fishing bar like this. The small fishing bar, it's awful because it like moves around, but like it's actually not too bad with the huge fishing bar. I remember these were needed in the winter foraging bundle, so I will just drop them off right away. All right, this one sh should be the sturgeon. All right, and the only thing I needed the sturgeon for was the fish pond. I need to turn the sturgeon row into caviar for a bundle. Lava eel is not that bad once I- oh, there it goes. Alright, yeah, lava eel, not too bad. It can be a bit shaky. Definitely harder than the ice pip to, like, in terms of catching. Alright, goat cheese, ice pip. We got progressive automation. Large milk finishes spring crops. Got a solar panel from it. Cheese finishes summer crops. Got additional laser shooting speed. Caviar got garlic seeds, which is a new check. I haven't had garlic yet. And I get five golden walls from the Bomba Frog, but I don't think garlic was needed in any bundles. Okay, so what's new here? Progressive processing for Factorio. Mining level. Mining level is nice. I think that means mining level nine. And then a teleport trap for Factorio. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'll buy the armor for your horse pack for the progressive processing, see what that does. And then a teleport trap. Hopefully I'm not by... All right, that's how we're ending today. Teleport into the biter base. Despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to recover my body, so all those free samples I had on me, including my tank, are now lost to the void. The Factoria world was looking quite grim as I still had two science packs left and then had to deal with launching the rocket, but I kept pushing forward. I wonder if I can get purples done real fast. Purples are easy. They only need one inserter crafter, one constant combinator crafter, and I've already got the grenades ready over there. Okay, copper is only needed there. Circuits and copper cable need for this one. And we're going to output them onto a belt. Go underground there. And then it's going to go up by purples. And then that's it for purples except for oil. Crude oil is easy though. Crude oil is just a raw resource, which we've already been tapping into. We do have purples. Purples are being made. Hooray. We're going to bring the purples over to the lab. Eventually we will have the yellows. That'll go on the same line as the purples. We're gonna bring these all the way this way. Oh, look at that, they're already in line. Okay, we have purples now, so technically if there's anything good, not Elliot Hearts, but if there's anything good that we can research, we can go ahead and do so. Traveling Merchant Saturday could be nice. I'll queue that up. I'm pretty sure I'm growing an apricot sapling, but that is something I need to do. I think Harvest Apricot got me pause menu pack, which is a big deal. I haven't married Harvey yet, and I see Harvey right here, so we'll do Harvey instead of Sam. Oh, and we have 10 hearts with him. That's a good thing. Okay, Harvey, you stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move, Harvey. He's going in the saloon, isn't he? Okay, I can meet him inside the saloon. That's fine. Come on, Harvey. I'm trying to propose here. All right, back to the desert. Hopefully, I can still get inside Sandy's. All right, Harvey, marry me. And that's all I need to do today. We can sleep for the wedding. All right, Harvey, let's see it. Alright, Harvey's easy. He just drinks coffee. 
Another happy marriage. Okay, we've got selling machine twos. We've got iron sticks. We've got iron ore and plastic. I'm gonna have to meet these two belts together, aren't I? I swear this isn't this isn't spaghetti. It isn't what it looks like. <laughs> this is such spaghetti. It's not what it looks like. Okay, there we go. It's combined now. What else? We just need to bring them up here. And then I'll start placing these down. And we have yellows now. Or just about. And yellows weren't too bad to make. Okay, yeah, yellows are being crafted now slowly but surely. Let's go for the rocket silo. And then I can release Factorio if I beat the Factorio game. And then I don't have to worry about anything else. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, for a second I thought that the atomic rocket trap was needed for... It's just a bunch of traps. The atomic rocket trap leads to the debris, which leads to my grenade trap. That's no fun. Oh, Stardew passed out. Linus hearts, wizard hearts, island mailbox, and rocket silo. And now we can just leave Factorio B, probably. Trap tree? The trap tree indeed. Okay, research is being researched now, and Harvey is being wooed. We need to woo Harvey. Would you like to give birth to a progressive advanced material processing cap? Sure, Harvey. But we're giving birth to one instead of adopting one? <laughs> um, I guess Harvey and I are gonna do some tinkering. Interesting. Harvey's too ashamed to even be home right now because of what we were doing last night. Oh, there he is. Are you working on our child, Harvey? Heavy tapper recipe. All right, apricot, we got the pause menu pack finally. Let's go. DLC quest, regular version. Start new game. We're finally starting the game. What? Why did I die? That's no fair. I shouldn't be dying. Temporary spike? No, no temporary spike. Okay. What? No, stop killing me. What'd I get? Pam heart. Oh, Pam hearts. Pam hearts, let's go. We're sleeping for that. We can do the cheese cauliflower and complete another bundle. Let's go. That's just what I want. I need to go get that recipe. I got an apple. Ooh, we're, we're in go mode. Apple sapling something else I needed. <gasps> Pam got us the Pam hearts we needed as well. We got Pam hearts in two different ways. Well, there's the cheese cauliflower. There's my progressive advanced material processing. Okay, I got the check from Harvey, so we don't care about Harvey anymore. All right, five gold star parsnip, that's all we needed. Okay, we can do a big community center drop off now. And I think I just need blue jazz seeds. Yeah, blue jazz, five gold star blue jazz. Cheese cauliflower, we got a gun pack, but we're done with, um... Oh wait, gun, gun pack? For DLC quest? Hold on. We get a gun? Oh no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why can't I just murder him? I didn't mean to... I might be dead, but there's still DLC to buy. <gasps> no, I'm committing mass murder. Oh, no. Okay, let's go to the thing over here. Okay. I guess I'm killing everyone. <laughs> we just have a gun. That's so strange. Bad guy hideout ahead. Well, if I have a gun, then like, you know, I mean, that seems easy with the gun. Do I just win with the gun? Finish the fight pack? What? Is that it? I did it kind of? I'm, I'm confused. What's going on here? Well, what else can I do in Stardew? I need hops. I need wheat. I got the artichoke. I need wheat, hops, blue jazz. I have the apple. Elliot hearts. Temporary spike? Temporary spike? No fair. I need to hint. Wheat seeds. Harmless plants pack in quest caps world. And jazz seeds. Collect all rare crows. Oh, that's such an annoying one to do. Um, the last one was hop starter. Okay, it's hop starter is a research. A fairly easy research. Finish the fight pack, that's the one. Um, collect a rare crow. You need to hint the name change pack too to beat the premium or die. Okay, the strong stuff. Oh, that's the one where I have to brew a bunch of potato juice. So I'd rather just... I think I could focus on completing Stardew. I think that's the goal. Complete Stardew. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have received all eight of them. I think I have to place them down. I'm gonna do it in order, because why not? There we go. All the rare crows are placed down nicely now. Now we just have to keep waiting. There's our jazz seeds. That's good. 
We need to get, now we need to sleep one more day to get them in the mail. All right, this is what we're here for. We are here for finish the fight pack, which means I believe we can finish the first campaign of DLC quest. And then we're looking for a name change pack. All right, Jazz Steve's just gonna buy a whole bunch of them. Okay, the strong stuff. We need potatoes. Do we have access to potatoes? Hopefully I don't have to hint potato seeds. Okay, we're good. I didn't need that many. I don't know why I bought so many. Can we craft kegs? Okay, we can craft kegs. She needs 12. So if I do, okay, I can just craft as many as I need. These take six days and juice takes like, what, four days approximately. Okay, that's definitely more than 12. Oh, our, <laughs> the weeds are taking over the farm, but it's okay, I don't mind. All right, juice, we have seven days. So let's sleep, what, six days? All right, and then she needs it in the kitchen. Was it the Simon Says game? How do I remember that from like, what, six months ago? Welcome XXX Quest Cap XXX. Well, this will let us um, pass, right? Okay, that's good. Armless Plants Pack, okay, that's good. Um, I'm not gonna go any further, I'm gonna go buy that first. All right, that got us wheat seeds. So now we can sleep for the wheat seeds and buy some from Joja. It did explanation mark alias. Oh my goodness, I just realized that. <laughs> oh boy. Now our DLC quest is XXX quest cap XXX. Top starter is almost done. We're still waiting on that. We're in, we're officially in go mode. I think this was it. We needed to complete the community center and then we can release Stardew. And maybe win tonight. We'll see. We'll see if I can finish up Factorio and DLC quest or not. Okay, hop starter. We plant at the island. How long does the hop starter take? Like 10 days-ish? Back to the endless fall, I suppose. Oh, this one I think we started in winter. So maybe we should go end in winter, but nah, I like my endless fall. I have a fall addiction. Progressive follower. Cheese press. Alright, I believe we need... A bunch of wheat. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. They grow back every day, so it's okay. Trying to get all my stuff organized here. Linus hearts. Kaido was wondering why I can't make mistakes like that during the race. I think this is it. I think it's just the hops and then 10 wheat and then one wheat. And then we're good. Oh no, cutscene's going. Oh, my five gold star blue jazzes. I think I left those at home. They're still going. Got the hops there. Ah. All right, 10 wheat and one wheat. We completed the goal. I got an unfathomable sword pack for quest cap. Interesting. All right, so should I do s release? Yeah, that was expected. DLC quest and factorial is what we focus on now. I think we're, I think we're done with Stardew now because we beat the game, we released. But the game's not over until we beat all three slots. Okay, so continue game, and then we'll see what else we can do here. Rest assured, this is a snow joke. Season pass. Okay, that's a death. Season pass. <laughs> it was my greenhouse for Stardew. Wow, just a bunch of coins. I don't see anything, any packs or anything. Come on, I want progression. I think I can just keep going to the right. Showdown zone. 200 coins, okay. That's reasonable, we can get 200 coins. I have an idea, hold on. We're going to Stardew. We're gonna grab some coffee and I'm gonna do what Kaido's been wanting me to do for a long time, get myself coffee. But I think I can use it to my advantage. All right, how many times do we have to sit through the Harvey thing? Okay, that's fair. All right, 455 coffee. Actually, let's do a stack, what the heck? Let's do a stack. I can make a stack real quick. Hops back in. Oh, I can buy coffee from the saloon. That's right. Much coffee as Gus will let me buy. We've got a stack. And now we gift quest cap. Oh, I used up all my money. No. The item's value is 150. You must pay 37,000. Okay, 37,000 is easy. I can do that real quick. I just need to sleep a week for my ancient fruit to grow again. All right, there we go. Sell everything and sleep. Okay, and tomorrow we should be able to gift. 
Yeah, it's plenty of money. Cool. I wonder how long the coffee effect lasts in DLC quest. No, not sleep. Shift quest cap. Oh boy, let's... There we go. Okay! <laughs> I'm flying! <laughs> no! <laughs> My... This is... Okay. This is hard to play. If you thought it was hard to control in... <laughs> if you thought it was hard to control in Stardew, this is... A whole nother level. I wanted to just get coins. Oh, there was a pack! There was a pack! Ah! Oh, I can go like this. Amazing wall jump technique. No. <laughs> I want the pack. Speedrunning DLC quest. Oh, this is a lost cause. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was such a gamer move. Move edge pack. <laughs> I am going so fast. I'm looking for coins. Well, Benny, this jump is going to be a lot easier with the moving or not. How long does this last, Kaido? I need 200 coins. Ouch. Alright, um, we're still- we have like 15 minutes approximately for Factorio body. Woo! We can jump far. Okay, what I was trying to do earlier- How long? Is it permanent? Is it permanent? <laughs> oh no. Woo! That was a nice stunt there. Alright, we're at 176. We need 200. Oh, there's so many coins there. Okay, if I can get back over there, then I think we're good. This is so... <laughs> this hard on the eyes. Okay, that was close. I know what I have to do now. I have to line myself up on that ledge right there. Okay, we're making progress. Hey, Kaido? I think I'm out of bounds. I mean, I think I can save and quit campaign. And then probably load back into live freemium or die. That worked. Oh, that reset the thing. Well, I need coins anyway. Okay, 237 coins. I think we can go fight the final boss now, which I don't know if it's actually going to be a fight or if it's just going to be, you need this pack to win. Showdown zone. Let's see what happens, I guess. Hopefully this works. I think I'll take that pickaxe and your wall jump DLC too, just to be safe. All right. Maybe I need a sword. Maybe I need a gun. The DLC betrays you because it belongs to me. Okay, so this is an actual boss fight. Oh, there's a zombie sheep. At least he throws some hearts. Am I winning? I don't know if I just keep collecting coins or what do I do? I'm assuming I just keep collecting coins. Don't suppose you'd like to buy a little something to help you out? Really big sword pack? Sure, I'll buy the sword. Okay. Oh, am I gonna need more swords? That's why there's so many swords. I because it's for the boss battle, I see. So I'm gonna need every single sword. Oh, I'm dying here. Come on, one more coin, I think. I think it's every 15. Really big sword pack. Oh, I can hit him. I'm guessing I probably need 25 coins for the final one. I'm guessing it's three hits. That's usually how, you know, three is the magic number. Usually how it works. I'm not a big fan of the zombie sheep. <laughs> There's four of the zombie sheeps now. Oh, this is getting to be like bullet hell. I have no idea what's going on, but he's throwing me some hearts. 30? 30? Ah, unfathomable sword pack. Okay, we can buy it, we can buy it! Can we- can we kill him? Can we do it? Uh, I missed him! Did I win? I think I won. I think I won DLC quest. I think, I think. Unless there's something I'm missing. I just sliced the world in half. That's a really big sword. I think I won the second campaign. I still have to do the first one, right? DLC quest, continue game. I got to finish the fight pack now. It's unfortunate I died. So now that we have finished the fight pack, we should be able to win the game, I think, is my understanding. Bad guy, hide out ahead. Roll is dead, so that's okay. Can't use bullets. I got my armor with my horse, that's good. Oh, my horse saved the day with its armor. That beats DLC quest, right? Just like that. <laughs> and we just have Factorio, which is pretty close. Oh, is the rocket silo recipe randomized? That's gonna pose a potential problem if it is. Yeah, I guess we beat the game. Yep, quest cap has completed their goal. <laughs> nice. We just have Factorio left. 
Working on that rocket silo slowly but surely. After finishing my goal for both Stardew and DLC quests, it was time to grind out the rest of Factorio. And there was quite a bit more to do than I originally anticipated as the rocket silo and rocket part recipes were randomized. For the rocket silo, I stole some constant combinators from my yellow setup and began to handcraft some cannon shells and cliff explosives. For those 400 piercing shotgun shells, I had to set up a new crafter along my line and then also set up a crafter for the light oil barrels. This all took quite some time and while waiting I began to look at what was required for building the actual rocket. That's right, all those ingredients were just for the silo. I would need to craft a rocket out of 100 parts made from 10 of each electric furnaces, cluster grenades, distractor capsules, and energy shield mark ones. This took an insane amount of time to set up, but once I got everything going I could just sit back and relax and let my factory do all the work. And let's start crafting the rocket silo. Rocket silo. It's a big boy. I'll place it up here. And the most important thing is putting four Productivity Module 3s inside. With the amount of machines I had going, I estimated it would take four hours, so to kill the time, chat made me try out Genshin Impact for my first time. Haha, <laughs> there were actually four games in the mix all along. But after four more hours, victory was finally within my reach. We're at 99%! Oh, we're there! We're there! <laughs> we're finally there! We just need a few more cluster grenades. At long last, I think we're about to win. One more rocket part, one more rocket part, and then we're done. <gasps> there it goes. There it goes. It's preparing. Let's watch it. Let's watch the rocket. There it goes. So beautiful. All right, the satellite should be in the inventory. So now all I, all I have to do is launch, and we should beat the game after it launches. Hooray. There it goes. Off into the distance. We did it. Factory Cap has completed their goal. We did it. We did it, everybody. I'm going to bed. Actually, I'm going to eat some food before I go to bed. And if you haven't eaten food, go eat some food before you go to bed. Unless it's the middle of the day for you, which it very well could be because everybody's in different time zones. Be sure to check out the Archipelago Randomizer as there are many more games you can mix up and I'll be sure to cover more in the future. For now, check out this 2v2 randomizer race I did against the creator of the mod. It was absolutely insane and we've got more insanity to come soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.